Okay, so we're going to connect the ESP32 to the FD, FTDI programmer using the breadboard. And how the breadboard works is that for each of these sides, A, B, C, D, E, and F, G, H, I, J. The holes are linked vertically. So if you connect something here and you connect something here, it's the same as connecting them together directly. But with these sides, the plus and minus, they are linked horizontally. So they are linked throughout. And although these ones are linked vertically, they cannot cross this line. So if you connect something here and you connect something here, they they will share no actual connection like if you put something here and put something here they won't be connected so we are going to put the esp on the breadboard just switch that like that just press it in mm -mm. and we are going to put the ftdi let's say over here uh, like that and if you look at your slides in lesson 3 slide 14 you can see that they've done the connections for the ESP and the FTDI so the first connection I'm going to make is from 5V to 5V so 5V is over here well it's 5V to VCC but it seems on the FTDI that you got the fixing 5V over there as well. So, okay, let me just bring it out. So my VCC is over here. This is the third one. You can see the VCC written. But for you guys might see 5V written there instead. It's the same thing. So we are going to connect the 5V over here. Remember I said they are linked, so oh yeah they are linked so putting it here is the same as connecting it directly to the pin over here and then we're going to put this at vcc But yeah, I've put it in the line, so it's in line with the whole way the VCC pin is, so it's connected that way. You can even decide to move it closer if you want. Like that. Doesn't matter. Next one we're going to do is from ground to ground. I'm going to use this wire for it. The color of the matter doesn't really hey, the color of the wire doesn't really matter, but just keep track of where you put them. So ground is right next to this to 5V. So ground to ground. You guys should just use your this is by the way these wires are all male to male. Like the ones you guys have. So you just use those ones. Okay, ground to ground. Can you see that? Okay. Oh, wait. Sorry. Should be at the first one or that. Okay, you can see it's in line with the ground. And the next one we're going to do is from 100 to ground on the other side. So, from 100 to ground. 
Let me do it like this. You can do it this way. I use a shorter wire for this, but I think you guys, your wires are all the same length. Again, doesn't really matter. Okay, they've connected 100 and grand. The next one I'm going to do is from U O L, I think. Yes, it's from U O L to T X. From U O L to T X. So U O L is over here. T X. And if you can see it. T X. I don't know if you can see it clearly, but it's the third one over here. This one. So. U O L. Okay, two TX, and the next one is from UOT to RX. Okay. That's here. To the one right beside it, Alex. It's like that. So we are, now we are done with the connection between the FCDI and the ESP32. And for our group, we are going to be using our CubeSats to test for humidity. And to test for humidity, we are using this, the DHT22 sensor. So we also need to connect that to the ESP32. And in the same lesson, three slides, if you go to slide, I think, 31. Yes, you see the connections over there. So now, we also need to put the DHT22 over here. Because we don't like stress. And you can see in the slide that plus of the DHC twenty two plus okay. Plus oh let me show it to Plus it goes to EV3 and EV3 is the first one over here. There. <clears throat> and out goes to 1015. Okay, so out is the middle one.
there and minus goes to ground now you see there's an issue here the minus is supposed to go to the ground here that the hundred is already connected to so what we are going to do is instead we're going to connect the ground to the minus over here and now we're going to connect the hundred to the minus as well You remember I said like all oh, they are linked horizontally so if you connect the ground to the minus and connect the hundred to the minus it's the same as directly connecting the hundred to the ground. So now we are also going to connect the minus the minus on the DHT. to the minus here should we send it down this way okay okay so now it's the same as if the hundred and this minus are connected to the ground directly. So yeah, we are done.